Ooh. Second. Oh, there we go. That a, that a large mouth? Well, how's it going, everybody? And welcome back to TRF. Today, we're going to be talking about the shad spawn, what it is, how to take advantage of it, how early you got to get out here in the morning to catch some nice, big old, chunky bass. I'm out here with best friend, Alton Jones Jr., elite seer, no, <laughs> former Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour Pro. And uh, we're going to be showing you guys, of course, how to catch fish like this. Alton, what are we going to do? Let's talk about it. How's it going everybody and welcome back to TRF. I'm here with Alton Jones Jr. MLF Pro and today we're going to be talking about this shad spawn and of course showing you guys some fish catches uh, and some good times we had this morning in the shad spawn. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of a mixture of, of tips from me, tips from him. He's actually taught me most of the things that I'm going to even talk about on the shad spawn so I could just give the whole thing to him but I think the teamwork you know, aspect is cool. But we first have to thank the sponsor. Bass Forecast. Bass Forecast. Now, Alton and I both work with Bass Forecast. He works with them on the pro side. I work with them on the more YouTuber side. Uh, but they're an awesome app, a free app that you can get for your smartphone that basically allows you to better understand uh, how weather affects your body of water and how to catch fish. Today, we've got a 7.2 rating. That's a really good rating. Anything above about a 6 to a 6.5, I consider mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. And, and it's when I try to get on the water. Um, you know, today we've got a full moon a really really warm day in the springtime late spring with a light breeze and it just sets up perfectly yeah. for bass to be ambushing prey as they're coming off beds and trying to you know feed up for for the summertime as they transition offshore it's got all the the bait selections that it would recommend it gives you five selections yeah and it also gives you three to four locations locations yeah and uh, those those have been really key and exactly. if if I was to pick out locations without looking at this app and then I look at this app, they're almost identical. Yeah. So it's, it's a really, really helpful tool to help you put more fish in your boat or whether you're fishing off the bank at ponds, big lakes. Exactly. It's just, it's a helpful tool that can yeah. help you catch more bass. And they're running a special right now where if you download Bass Forecast using my link down below, you get a $10 Tackle Warehouse gift card for getting premium. So you're basically getting premium for free because you get a Tackle Warehouse gift card and who doesn't love Tackle Warehouse? So that'll be linked down below for you guys to check out. But let's hop into the shad spawn content. So what is a shad spawn? It's when uh, the shad actually go up into their mating ritual process. And it's a, it's a really unique and fun way to target bass. Uh, it's, it's really a multi-species thing. Oh, yeah. uh, you're gonna catch whites, hybrids, largemouth, smallmouth bass, um, spotted bass, I mean, you name it, any predatorial fish is gonna be up there gorging on these shad because they, they get extremely vulnerable. Uh, yeah. Most of the time, they're typically extremely shallow and they're so focused on the spawning process, they'll be in these balls of thousands flicking on the surface mm -hmm. that it's it's literally just a, it's a buffet for any any predatory fish. Exactly. And uh, Yeah, and, really and they're, much, they're, they're much different than bass spawning because bass, you get a pair, one a male and a female, mm -hmm. the shad spawn, <laughs> You get 10,000 of them, and they all kind of go at it at once. Yeah. <laughs> and, they're all rubbing up on each they're, other. They're, all rubbing, they're having a good time, and that allows for some really good bass action. And like I said, not just bass, multi-species. Uh, and so where do you look for shad spawn? Uh, I think I think across the country. You know, we could segment into like dirty water, clear water, grass, you know, docks. So what kind of what kind of like general practices should people be looking for? You know, uh, several things I look for depending on the bodies of water. Number one, marinas. They're they're a huge player. Not only do they you know hold a lot of really big fish, mm -hmm. but they also attract a lot of bait. And a lot of times, some of the best shad spawns I've ever seen have come in marinas. Yeah. Another thing I like is if you're in a lake with a lot of seawalls, breakwater, riprap, they love being on hard cover. So if they'll be actually get up on the riprap on the shore mm -hmm. or on those seawalls and actually hit on those seawalls. Same thing with the docks in those marinas. They'll be up under touching the floats, flicking yeah. out of the water. And so those are several of the things I look for. But the biggest thing is don't try to force a shad spawn to happen when it's not happening. Uh, one thing that I've learned over my years, if you stop on a spot and you don't see any shad and you make two or three casts and do not get a bite, you need to stay moving mm -hmm. and uh, try to try to find that magical spot because yeah. what you'll find, there's gonna be a lot of shad 
and a lot of bass or other species of fish yeah. in one exact spot. And oftentimes it's gonna be a visual thing. So you'll actually, with your eyes, see the bait fish flicking on the surface. And occasionally, like in grass lakes, you'll have to look at your electronics to see kind of the bait balls around grass or around structure. But I would much prefer to be looking at the bait fish uh, as, as they're spawning. Birds are probably the number one biggest giveaway when yeah. it's a shad spawn. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm at a lake that I've never been, to, been before, I'm gonna run as fast as I can around that lake and find the biggest group of birds I can because yeah. as those bass and you know push shad up or as those shad are spawning on the bank, the birds, just like the fish, take advantage of them. A lot of times you'll see 50 birds down one bank. Yeah. That's a dead giveaway that there's a shad spawn going on. Now, as we always like to talk about here on the channel, we're gonna talk about the lures to throw during a shad spawn. And if you will take a look at our deck right now, it is mostly shades of white. It is white, it is gray, it is chrome. Uh, and that is because shad really only come in, in one color. You yeah. know, they, yeah. they don't come in many colors. Uh, and so if you are trying to imitate, uh, you know, the, the, the shad, the, the bait fish those fish are eating, you're gonna have to throw something similar to that. So talk about some of the main uh, categories of lures that work best during this time of the year. You know, the, the lures that I throw during a shad spawn are really dictated by what the shad are spawning on. Mm -hmm. um, if they're uh, spawning on, you know, say a marina dock, I want something that imitates a shad that I can skip way back in the dock and, mm -hmm. and get in those hard to reach places up under those dock floats. So something like a swim jig, a chatter bait, yeah. or uh, you know, a small swim bait, really, really good, yeah. good tactic. Um, if I'm fishing more open water or on riprap, I'm gonna be throwing something like a top water most likely. You've got uh, buzz bait, uh, plopper style, a zera spook, I yeah. mean, you name it. Um, square, just bill. Any, square bill is a really yeah. good one, but Traditionally, the number one shad spawn bait of all time is a spinner bait. Yes. Because those blades, as they flash, it looks what, yeah, it looks like the exact same. Yeah, it's the, it's the exact same fish. motion as they roll on each other. And what you'll actually notice, I've seen it a lot, where I'm I'm slow rolling my spinner bait in, and I can feel things bumping. And when I pull that spinner bait up, there will be five to ten shad trying to spawn with my spinner bait. That's how good the thumping of that blade imitates it. So if if I can throw a spinner bait that's probably what I'm gonna be throwing. Yeah. Biggest key is try to match the size of the blade to mm -hmm. the size of the bait fish that you're seeing. Exactly. Good stuff. So the reason why I'm making this video, you know, in this time of the year after the bass spawn, you know, here in Texas, most of the bass are done spawning. Uh, and that is because the shad spawn happens after the bass spawn. And it's somewhere in between the bass spawn and the bluegill spawn is when the shad spawn happens. So that's why I, I talk about being on the water in the spring because everything happens in the spring. Every bait fish, every predator fish is up shallow. Uh, and so, the water temperature is what you're gonna focus on most. I'd say when it gets to around 65 to 70, maybe a little bit above 70, that's the prime temperature, at least in Texas. I, I could be wrong about other states, but in Texas, uh, in the south, that's the main water temperature when it comes to looking for the shad spawn. And dirty water, of course, when the sun is out like this, it's gonna heat up dirty water faster than it will clear water. And so you're gonna have a shad spawn happen in the river, in the, the, the northern end of your lakes, a lot sooner than it's gonna happen in the clear section. So you may end up uh, still bed fishing down south where it's clear and having a shad spawn deal in totally post-spawn fish up north. The number one key to never forget about shad spawn is it happens super fast in the morning. It's yeah. not something that goes on all day. Um, a lot of times it's the first 30 minutes before sunrise and the first 30 minutes after sunrise. It is probably the most fast, furious yeah. thing in the sport of bass fishing. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no better and more fun bite to be on, mm -hmm. but there's also no bite that ends faster. I mean, it's yeah. a lot of times as soon as that sun comes above those trees, it's like a light switch. So if you're mm -hmm. the kind of person that likes to sleep in, you're going to have to set your alarm clock extra early. If I'm yeah. fishing for a shad spawn, I make sure to be out when it is pitch black dark. I mean, mm -hmm. I want to make sure I'm at the boat ramp extremely early. Yeah. There are a few things that can prolong it, you know, fog uh, or, or a really nice overcast day yeah. can make the shad spawn last till say 9.30, maybe 10 o'clock if you're lucky. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking, shad spawn is a 30 minute window yeah. and uh, if you miss it, it's, it's done. It's exactly. Toast. And it's so interesting the contrast because a few weeks prior when you're bed fishing, the bass are most locked on and most, you know, most fish are up shallow when it's the afternoon and the sun mm -hmm. is out. And then all of a sudden, after they get off beds, the shad spawn starts, it switches. So instead of getting up at 10 a.m. and getting on the water like you're used to in the spring, that post-spawn, immediate post-spawn, you have to get on the water before the sun even gets up. So it's rough, 
Uh, you definitely don't get as much sleep as you're used to, but um, it has some of the best action in the entire year. And as he mentioned, it's one of the funnest bites. So we're gonna hop onto the water and show you guys some cool shad spawn catches, some slow motion footage, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Got him? It's a large mouth, my friend. It is. On a shared spawn. There's one. There you go. Got him. First cast, First cast on the spinnerbait. How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to TRF. Today we're going to be talking about the shad spawn. What? Oh, well, it's a white bass. Dang it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that was. Uh, didn't expect that one. He yeeted him on the spinnerbait. As y'all can see, it's a uh, it's a family affair around here. We got white bass, we got largemouth, we got all the above, and it can be fast and furious. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Hey, yo, white bass. Sweet. You can catch these all day, folks. Yeah. Yes. Woo. Oh, holy smokes. That dude crushed it. On the outcast tackle swim jig. Boom. That's what you call getting him up and out of there. He was just kind of like in the middle. Oh, he was, he was on a stick, but there's a lot of sticks, you know? Yeah. Get off. 